spill on Sunday. Police said that this all started from a traffic stop around 445 AM on Iron Bridge Road. We're learning from police today, though, that that was initiated due to the driver driving erratically. And here's what else they told us today. They say the driver got out of the vehicle when they were stopped and the officer trying to conduct the traffic stop asked the driver to get back in, but the driver didn't comply. And when he was approached by the officer who later attempted to detain him, there was some kind of struggle. Now, the suspect struck the officer and tried to get the officer's gun. The officer allegedly tried to use a taser and pepper spray, but the driver got back into his vehicle and fled north on Jessup Road. Now, police say during the pursuit, the driver made a U-turn and started shooting at the police vehicle. He then started shooting at a second officer that arrived on the scene and that officer returned fire. Then a third officer came on scene and that officer, along with the second one, began firing back at the suspect vehicle, which then slowed and it came to a stop and the suspect was pronounced dead on the scene. Now, this is all based on what police say happened. And if that is the case, legal analyst Todd Stone said this about the investigation. In the end, if there's shots going both ways and there's a struggle between them, you know, that uh, the question about whether the officer had a reasonable fear for his or her safety, probably going to be a pretty easy one. Now, all of the officers involved have been placed on administrative leave. That's due to department policy. Police have not identified the driver at this time, but crime insider sources say that he does have ties to Petersburg. In Chesterfield, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.